Hi everybody, Eric the Car Guy here. Normally I'm not prone when I do my introductions, but today I am, just for you. You ever have like a rattle or something happening at idle? Like you're just sitting there and you just hear this metallic kind of blah, 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 blah. Something like that that's just driving you absolutely nuts and you don't know where it's coming from. There's a good bet you got an exhaust shield that's loose. Uh, especially up around the area of the engine. They put shielding around the exhaust, the catalytic converters. They do this, uh, well, for a number of reasons, but I, I think one of the main reasons is to prevent brush fires, believe it or not. If you're parking out on the grass and it's like really dry grass, some of these exhaust components get hot enough to like ignite like tinder. So uh, they put this heat shielding around the outside to help protect from that and also to help protect the passenger compartment from the radiant heat that happens from the exhaust. I don't, I don't like to throw these shields away. I like to keep them as intact as I possibly can. The manufacturer saw fit to put them there, so I try to keep them there. Uh, however, if they're too far gone, I can understand how you, you know, would want to get rid of them. But I just take hose clamps, and if, say, the hose is bigger than my hose clamp, you can always add more hose clamps, simply by hooking them together like this. And you can pretty much do this indefinitely and make a much bigger circle. In fact, you can make these large enough, I've done this, to, to fit around the outside of like say a catalytic converter, which if you own a Honda, uh, catalytic converter heat shields coming loose uh, is almost par for the course. But I do have this rattle in my Subaru here, my 91, or 97 Legacy. And the way I found it was, I just started smacking around on the exhaust. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this here is the shielding in question. This is the catalytic converter. These are the down pipes. And I just go around and just smack them with the palm of my hand. Uh, good idea to wait until the car is cooled down when you do this. Because uh, doing this when it's hot could hurt. But I go around and I just tap the exhaust and listen until you find it. And I found it. And where I found it is this guy right here. See that looseness we got going on? And that is the noise that I hear. And like I said, it kind of drives me nuts. The fix is very simple. And this might be, I may not have to do two of these. I may be able to do just one, which saves me a hose clamp. Oh, so close. It might happen. It might happen. Take the hose clamp. Ah, oh, so close. There we go. And run it, run it down pretty good. That should be good. Rattle's gone. Fairly simple. I think, I love simple solutions just like this. Cheap, too. Hose clamps. Smack around in the exhaust. Look for what's loose. Clamp it down. It's uh, pretty, pretty simple. Anyway, I am Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com, uh, Google, Google+, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, and if you have automotive questions, I ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com, sign up for a free account, and ask them over at the forum. Or you can use the search function because if you type in a couple of keywords there, there might be an answer to your question already. Be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty and quiet. See you next time.